on today's panel, he's an actor and a writer who's piling in the back seat, generating steam heat and pulsating to the backbeat. It's Mr. Nick Armstrong. Yeah, she's an actor, writer, and hurry, hurry, hurry before she goes insane. She can't control her fingers. She can't control her brain. It's 24-hour Molly Erdman. Hey, she is the creator of Nerdtainment and a runt who went down to Berlin and joined the Ice Capades. It's Sarah is a punk at Wood. And finally, he hates the teachers and the principal, and he don't want to be taught to be no fool. It's Douglas Rock and Roll Serine. Thank you, Sarah. And welcome, everyone, to Sight Unseen, the punk rock of online guessing games, where our peripatetic panel attempts to guess the purpose, aims, and possibly even the names of unique URLs. As always, they can only ask yes or no questions, and they get as many yes answers that they can string together before they get 10 no answers and are defeated by the internet. Welcome, panel. Hey, Whew, I'm a little tongue tied to today. <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. Great. Boy. He's yeah. a Peter, that Piper that picked a pepper. Yeah, right I, I got a new tongue and I'm just, yeah, just uh, slowly uh, <laughs> working it through it. <laughs> Let's find out uh, what your team name is by going to a random team name generator. <laughs> and today you will be known as the Breakaway Whoa. Mob Surgeons. Ooh. The Breakaway <laughs> right. Mob Surgeons. I've right. seen that Herald team before. Yeah. <laughs> mob Surgeon. Mom, very 90s or 80s? Wow, that's a yeah. line, it's like line a improv. Dusty Rose. Kind <laughs> yeah. Of. yeah, we had yeah. a mob couch when I was a child. I'm Ooh. very. What's, what's mob? It's a Dusty Rose. Yeah, with like a little more purple in it. It's Maybe sometimes purple. I confuse it with. Toast. Oh, when you said Dusty Rose, I thought you were talking about like a person, like a like a, a wrestler, a singer, or something like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a Dusty yeah. Rose. Oh, Dusty Rose. Oh, yeah, Dusty Rhodes. <laughs> it's like uh, a WWE. Yeah. We are muted, pinky purple breakaway surgeons. Was it very yeah, on trend for twenty twenty? <laughs> Yeah. Pinky promise Here. surgeons. The Breakaway Mob Surgeons, it's time to do a little bit of team bonding. I'm going to ask you some very difficult trivia questions. And the Breakaway Mob Surgeons are going to attempt to answer them as a group. So talk amongst yourselves and give me what you think is the correct answer to it. So we'll start with the heart of a blue whale, the world's largest animal, weighs about 400 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 1,800 pounds. Ooh. Isn't 1,800 pounds like a ton? I think 2,000 pounds is a ton. Yeah. Mm. I was it's thinking one of those higher ones, right? It's got to be. Thinking, let, should we just go in the middle? And <laughs> I love a middle number, a 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to call the whale fat. I don't want to call it too exactly. skinny. Right. Just so average. Maybe. Just average. <laughs> so what's the team guess? 1,000. Thousand. Okay. No, guys, it's 400 pounds. It's Aww. just a mere 400 pounds, which is about the size of a small piano or an American black bear. Oh. Well, we were way wrong. Okay. All right, team. You're going to work together to place the following Gina Davis movies in yeah. order of theatrical release. <laughs> A League of Their Own, Cutthroat Island, Thelma and Louise. Oh. Thelma and Louise first, right? Yeah. That made her kind of really famous. When is right? Cutthroat Island? Yeah. I think that's last because that's when that things got dicey. I can um, picture her in that. Like oh, what? Like in a dicey? trailer for it. For yeah, her. things got dicey for her, <laughs> for her. her career at Cutthroat Island. I think. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we're saying Thelma and Louise, League of Their Own, League of Their Own, Cutthroat, and then Island. Cutthroat Island. You're 100 percent correct. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thelma Louise, well. A League of Their Own, <laughs> and then Cutthroat Island. Cutthroat Island was the first movie she did with her husband at the time, Rennie Harlan. Mm. And then oh, yes. they followed that up with Long Kiss Goodnight, which I think is a very good movie. Oh, even though Cutthroat Island perhaps is not. But if you happen to enjoy Cutthroat Island, we won't say that you're wrong. Art yeah. is subjective. <laughs> <laughs> which of the following Nissan car models is the title given to your character in Mass Effect Andromeda? Mass Effect Andromeda is a video game. Uh, and which of the following uh, Nissan car models is the title given to your character in Mass Effect Andromeda? Pathfinder, Rogue, Ultima. Uh, God. I have a feeling the first two are so good that it's the third one. That's the <laughs> crap. Like Ultima. My name's Ultima. I don't 
can't even understand that question. It's, a, it's layers. There's layers. It's so um, <laughs> layered. I want it to be well, Pathfinder, though. Yeah. I noticed that the character name given to your Mass Effect character was a name of a car. Nissan. So I, uh -huh. I just picked a couple other uh, Nissan okay. cars and put it in there. I, I'm randomly saying Pathfinder. What, Nick, were you saying? I randomly? like Pathfinder. No, I like I, when, when I heard Pathfinder, I was like, that sounds good. Yeah, but I also like I'm thinking like the weird ones Ultima, so it might just right. be the weird one you don't expect. Right. <laughs> I like I like Pathfinder. Let's do it. Yeah. Team guesses Pathfinder. Pathfinder yes. One hundred percent correct. Yes. You guys oh. nailed it. That I'll one tell was you stressful. something about the breakaway mom surgeons. <laughs> they have almost like a <laughs> medical approach almost. to <laughs> everything they do that's very surgical in terms yeah. of their approach but watch out <laughs> sometimes we break away yeah. <laughs> let's move into our first website and our first website is for a tv show fan site and your hint is that the main family's name is in the title of the fan site but not in the title of the show so that's your hint and we'll give our panel a wild guess just based on that sarah what show do you think this uh, fan site is dedicated to? Roseanne. Uh, Roseanne. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, Nick, what show do you think this uh, fan site is dedicated to? Home Improvement. Home Improvement, <laughs> sure. Uh, Molly, what uh, site, what uh, show do you think it's dedicated Family to? Family Ties. <laughs> Family Ties. Well, those are all TV shows, but they're not the TV show that we are looking for for this fan site. So we will start our questioning with you, Sarah. Is am I correct in assuming that this is a family uh, or a show centered around a family? Since you yes. said family name, okay, it is considered a family. It uh, was wait, the, wait, uh, I mean, I don't want to mislead you. It's centered around a family. Yes, it is centered around a family. Okay, I think we're on the same page. Okay, was the heyday of this when this was running? Was this a '90s show? No, it was not a 90s show. One down, nine to go, Nick Armstrong. Uh, was this show a comedy? No, the show was not a comedy. Two oh. down, eight to go, Molly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Guys, let's just give Molly a chance to get over the shock of that. Oh, no. There's a lot uh, of info coming at me. Okay. Are you surprised that there are shows that aren't comedies? Or I mean, I guess it's not how you look at it, but... Uh, <laughs> yes. Is this a show from the past 10 years? So the 2010s? Yes. Does this feature an extended family beyond a the nuclear-like mom dad kids like it does it go out to aunts uncles grandparents no it's 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 very much centered around members of a nuclear core. family core. yeah okay. so uh three okay. down seven to go sarah is this show also a procedural is it law enforcement or medical is it a procedural i don't uh think people would consider it a procedural so i'll say no four down six to go we can debate that but i would not i would not consider this a uh, procedural is this show like a brand new show or is it like a remake or a reboot of like an earlier series well you gotta ask me a yes or no uh, uh, question yes. <laughs> uh, is it a remake or reboot no it is not a remake or a reboot five down five to go molly okay is this show based in the united states of america Ooh. I know yes this. Um, yes, nope, this okay. uh, it is based in the United States uh, okay. of America. Are the children in this family youth? No, the children are uh, okay. adults. Okay, and six down, four to go. Nick, Nick's hot on the trail of this. Is is the is it currently airing? Is the show still currently airing? No, <gasps> the show is not currently. Seven down, three oh to go. Nick, tell us what it is. Shit's great. No, that's a comedy. It's not Shit's Creek. Oh, that's a comedy. Duh. I mean, oh, no, it's great. not Shit's Creek. So. Nick, I really thought you had it. I uh, did too. But then I remember uh, I asked the question about eight comedy. down, two to go. Here's your <laughs> here's your late round clue. It's been nominated for three Emmys, but never won, and it ranks thirteenth for the longest running TV show of all time. Oh what? my god! Why don't we know this? <laughs> The CBS Evening News. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Is it it's, the 60 Minutes family? <laughs> uh, was this a network 
TV show as opposed to cable or streaming? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Network drama that was on uh, for a long time. And they're a family. That's like a family. <laughs> uh, is this show currently playing in syndication? <gasps> yes. I really thought Nick had it when he said, did it just end? Oh, that's why I said shit's great. Uh, I know that's why you said shit's great. Right like, again, that was incorrect. <laughs> but I, I really thought you had it when you said that. It just ended. What's a big show that's a drama that just ended with a family? We got You got three comedian people here. We don't watch dramas. Did any character on this show die? Uh, in the, uh, the main core of characters in the family. Yes. Whoa. Just to be clear, I think that that's the inciting incident of the show. Oh. Do the adult children uh, mm -hmm. have careers oh. that factor prominently into this show? 100%. <gasps> Is the family all in a business together? Ooh. Yes. Do they own a motel in Canada? <laughs> It's shit's great. The dying is what maybe and so like dad died. We all have to take over the sporting goods show shop. Big uh, five. <laughs> Wait, so tell me more about this show, Molly. Uh, Imagine if you will. <laughs> Patriarch of the family founded a sporting goods empire, but suddenly died. The rest wow. of the family knows nothing about sports, and they're forced to take over. Sold. Coming us all, it's sporting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might work on the title, but we're definitely buying no. three seasons of the show. <laughs> Are both parents alive in the show for the majority no. of the show? No, both of the parents are not alive during the majority of the show. Nine down, one to go. Come on, Sarah. You got Sarah. Yeah. Everyone in the comments at this point has answered, and they know it's yeah. so obvious. They, they're like, you idiots. <laughs> I feel so bad that I don't know this show. Is it This Is Us? Oh. No, it is not This Is Us. If I said that the network that it was on was the CW, would that let you arrive at the uh, answer? Is it Supernatural? Sorry. Yes, Sarah. It is Supernatural. What? Yeah. Oh, but you didn't get it just in time. It is the Winchester family business. Uh, Winchester is the family name of the two brothers from Supernatural. Just so you know, when their dad dies, that's the impetus for the show. And they take over the uh, monster and ghost hunting business. 15 seasons? 15 seasons? 327 episodes of these two handsome gents. I didn't so, know uh, that the show just ended because I remember being like, wow, it was still on? <laughs> but So have any of you seen a single episode of Supernatural? Never. <laughs> yeah, I watched the pilot. But that was a thousand uh, years ago. And honestly, it feels too daunting at this point. 15 <laughs> seasons. Yeah. I don't know. It depends yeah. how long this pandemic goes for. It might be the perfect <laughs> thing. So there's tons of these uh, motivational posters you can buy. So <laughs> surely there are better times to redecorate a room than right in the middle of a case. It, you had to see the episode, that's, I think. they're really classic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right Why didn't you say CW earlier? Douglas. <laughs> you were off to a good start with the trivia questions. Then you had a little bit of a falter. For our next website, we're looking for a unique job. Your hint is that only one person in the world currently has this job. And so we're, we're just looking for what that uh, person's job is. So we give our panel a wild guess just based on that. Nick, what's this job? This is going to be an underground electrical engineer. Underground electrical engineer. Now, you think that there's only one underground electrical <laughs> engineer in the entire world right now? Godzilla. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Molly, what do you think the, this person's job is? Canadian Prime Minister. Ooh. Canadian Prime Minister. That's a great, yeah, that's a great guess. There'd only be one of those at a time. Sure. Sarah, what do you think uh, this job is? Then I'm going to say the Queen of England. Ooh. Uh, the Queen of England. That's another great, only one, you know, only one person uh, in the world has this job. And it is none of those. We'll start our guessing with you, Nick, uh, to discover this, the website for this unique job that only one person in the world currently has. Would this one person be very wealthy because of this job, like make a lot of money in the job or just be rich? No, they would not be particularly wealthy because of this job. So Molly. <laughs> is this job held by a man? Yes, this job is currently held by a man. Is this man <laughs> under the age of 40? 
It does not look like this man is under the age of 40. So I'm going to say no. Two down, eight to go. Sarah. Is this position held in America? Is this an American job? No, this is not an American job. Three down, seven to go. Nick. Uh, does this job have anything to do with like a government entity? Yes. Okay. Is it like contracted or associated with the military in any sense? I do not think that it is associated with the military at all. So I'll say four, four down, uh, six to go, Molly. Is the person who has this job appointed as opposed to like Ooh. they apply and have a job interview? Yes, they are appointed. Ooh. Have previous people or have people previously held this job before the current person? Yes. Has the line of people who have held this job gone on for more than a hundred years? Yes. Is there a, re a religious affiliation to this job? No, there's not a religious mm -hmm. affiliation to this job. It is not the Pope. Is the location of this position in the Northern Hemisphere? Mm. Yes. Is the appointment of the people who hold this position, are they all of the same family? Is it by bloodline? No. Six down, four to go. Uh, oh, my Nick. gosh. Does this person write a hit comedy show on... Uh, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> is this something done in an uh, outside? Yes. Is this person appointed by a politician? I'll go ahead and give you a soft yes. Is he in charge of like overseeing lands, like parks and stuff? No, he is not in charge of overseeing lands. Okay. It takes us to our late round clue, uh, which I think will, will, will be helpful along those lines. The main activity that this person is really responsible for takes place uh, in the third week of July on the River Thames. What <laughs> happens on the river in the third week of July? Does this person work for the queen or, or yes. the royalty? Okay. Yes. And so that's what, that's what I was kind of like navigating yeah. whether it was government or not. And that's uh, the question of the ages. I mean, we're all trying to figure this out. What, <laughs> yeah, is, this? what is this monarchy? Does this have something to do with the queen's birthday? No, it does not have to do with the oh. queen's birthday to the you best of my knowledge. Like, ugh. like what, you were me? annoyed. You were like, no, no. Well, Sarah, there's eight down, two to go. Can you say the clue again about the River Thames? Uh, there's only one person in the world that currently has this job. Their main activity of the year it takes place in the third week of July on the River Thames. Some Americans pronounce it Thames. Mm. Oh, now I <laughs> oh, now there it is. <laughs> oh, it's Shit's Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the nickname for the Thames, I think, or at least it, it was back in medieval days. It was often known as Schitt's Creek. What's coming to me is those bridges. There's a lot of bridges in London. Uh, the London Bridge is falling down is a thing. This is such a waste of a question if it's a no. But does it have anything to do with a bridge? No, it does not have anything to do with a bridge. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Nine down, one to go. Are they actually on the river when they're doing this activity? Like they do. They have to go onto the river. Is it a celebration? I think people might consider it a celebration. I think I think people do celebrate it, but it's not. Okay. I would say it's more of a tradition than tradition. a okay. direct uh, celebration. Does this person wear a uniform when they? Yes, do? they wear they wear a uniform, and this is why I had a question about that that military thing because. It's, it's a not. look. It's a military-looking uniform, but I think it's just like a royal type. Yeah, a royal you uniform know. of some sort. Yeah. Does this have to do with any sort of skirmish or war? No, okay. not to oh. best my knowledge. It does well, not have to have do a with good any, night. any sort of skirmish <laughs> or war. If I said it had to do with an animal, let's go around the horn. Everybody, give me their best guess, and if you get it, you got it. The releasing of the crows at the Tower of London. Every year they have to tame piranhas. Piranha tamers. Piranha Tamers, you have the River Thames, very yeah. well known for its yes. <laughs> infestation of piranhas. Yes. The annual <laughs> send a horse across the river. <laughs> Which is the strongest horse for the queen? It's a test oh. of strength. Yeah. The surviving horse is, is the queen's horse for the year. Guys, here's I've... a super unique job. The queen's swan marker. 
What? The queen's what? swan no. marker. The queen owns all unmarked swans. Oh. What? Why? Swans Why? Are they the queen's property? The queen every year goes like, oh, shoot, this thing. Yeah. Oh, is this uh, oh, that swan thing. Back in the day, people used to eat swans. And so they were pretty valuable. And so you had to know which ones were the queens and which ones weren't the queens. And you knew oh. this by whether they had a little knife mark on their bill. They do not do that anymore. They do not make knife marks on the bills of they the still. swans anymore. But they still got to count them. Okay. Yeah. Never was. It, we weren't getting to get that. Mm -mm. You're uh, killing us today, Douglas. Killing that us. Was tough. Yeah. yeah they, they, they take... Nobody in the comment sections would be like, "I got this." <laughs> I know. I can't wait to see if our Brits know about the Brits, this. The Brits will know for sure. Dear Brits, is this a thing we should know? <laughs> this is like Flag Day in America. Everybody's like, is, "What do they put flags on people's front right. yards?" Moving on, give us something we can get, Douglas. Well, we're going to move on to our internet speed round. I put 120 seconds on the clock, and you just keep throwing questions at me. The, the number of no's don't matter. I'll answer as many questions as I can. Uh, as usual, we're looking for a unique Instagram. We're looking for a unique Instagram, and I would say this uh, almost exclusively is dedicated to pictures of one dude doing one thing and i just want you to tell me what this dude is doing go is it ghost hunting no it is not ghost hunting physical activity uh, it, no, it, yes it is a physical activity it's very much a physical activity is it their job no it is not their job they might it might be their job now it's very successful oh, oh. Does is it, it roller skating? No, it is not roller skating, but it is physical activity. Uh, is there a prop or some sort of thing? Yes, there definitely is a prop involved. It, it, the same prop in all in all the carrot them. top. No, it is uh, not carrot top. Is it a gun? No, it is not it, a gun. Is it a wooden stake? Uh, no, it is not a wooden stake, but it is made of wood. Uh, is it some kind of uh, tool, like hardware yes. type of tool? Uh, I would I, I would call it a, a tool in a general, but uh, not, okay. I think, in, in terms of a hammer or a wrench or something like that. Planting something? or No, it does not have to do with planting anything. One minute to go. A slingshot. No, it's not a slingshot. Um, it's made of wood. It is a tool of sorts, yeah. I, most of us probably have one in our home. Is he? Oh, oh. no. A ruler. <laughs> is it a ruler? Is he measuring No, it is not something? a ruler. A no, he's not measuring something. What? Is it a baseball bat? Is he <sighs> killing things with a baseball bat? No, he's not no. killing things with is a baseball bat. He's lugging a coffee table around town. He's not lugging a coffee ta table around. The, the physical activity he's doing is he's jumping up in the air. So these pictures are of him in the air with this uh, object. So just uh, tell me what he's. With a wood object. With a wood object. Mm -hmm. 20 is seconds. It is it a broom? Yes, it is oh. a broom, Molly. Is he <laughs> with a broom? <laughs> yes, he, he's jumping he, up with a broom. Like a you witch. Guys, he, like, he pretends he's a witch. Yes, I think Molly. it's pretty close to pretending he's, he's, he's a witch. <laughs> Way to go, guys. Oh. Let me introduce you the Instagram of Halno. Oh. So what he's doing is he's jumping up in the air and taking these photos. Adorable. If people in the 13th century saw this, they'd be worshiping. Oh. <laughs> is it, do you think That's this cool. is real? It's not very photoshopped. Like around him's photoshopped, maybe. Right. Some. I think most of them are him jumping and, and actually doing these things. Wow. Just going to very unique. These are gorgeous uh, shots. He's locations. Really gets to go anywhere. He's like, oh, I'm just going to do my jump thing by this right. thing. He, he definitely goes to the places because he, he like posts about where he's going and he has like oh. a you know, a whole, a whole website that's all about like where I'm going and what I'm doing. And Wow, and... Molly, I was never going to guess broom. Thank you. This is the kind of Instagram you don't want during like the Salem era of like, <laughs> you know, you don't be like, look at these new photos I did and like the Salem, which they're like, um. I'll be honest, Nick, I, there weren't many Instagrams during the Salem thing. <laughs> No, break <laughs> away, mom surgeons. We broke away. We did mm -hmm. it. We broke away from the losing. Ship. All right, we're going to move yeah. on now to our celebrity sighting round. For Ooh. this round, the panel tries to guess a famous person or group of people, living or dead, that has an official website. We offer no clues for this one. And Molly, we're going to start our questioning with you to discover the website for this famous person. Is this uh, person currently alive? 
No, they are not currently alive. One down, nine to go, Sarah. Was this person, when they were alive, were they an actor? No, they were not an actor. Two down, eight to go, Nick. Was this person from the United States? No, this person is not from the United States. Three down, seven to go, Molly. Although you're ruling out a lot of people because yeah, somebody who's... Uh, yeah. 300, 300 billion yeah. more to go. <laughs> is this a man? It is a man, yes. Was this person uh, in Europe? Yes, this person was in Europe. Uh, was this person a writer? Yes, this person was a writer. Did this person write novels? Yes. Were any of the works that this person wrote turned into a movie? Yes. Ooh, multiple. Was this person writing in the 20th century? Yes. So in addition to novels, did this mm -hmm. person write nonfiction? No, I don't think this person would have been known for writing nonfiction. Four down. Six to go. The Wikipedia has novelist, short story writer, poet, screenwriter. Ooh, okay. Of this person's works, is there a very popular holiday work that they wrote? No. Five down, five to go, Nick. Does this person's body of work have like sequels to some of their books, like a series or anything like that? At least one thing they wrote has multiple books. Consider that a soft yes. It is, this, is this book that has all these sequels like their their biggest work? It might be their most famous work, and it just has one sequel. Were those both made into movies? One of them was made into a movie. Was this movie that this book was made off of uh, done in the later half of the 20th century? Yes. And then, again, at least one version of this movie was done in oh. the later half of the 19th century. So it's been rebooted? Century. Yes. Or remade. Okay. So it was made in the later 20th century, maybe rebooted in the 20. Was it rebooted in the 21st century? Yes. Was it rebooted within the last five years? No. Six down, uh, four to go. Molly, what do you got? Uh, is this person uh, British? Yes. The novel that, that was a movie that was then rebooted sometime in the past 15 years, let's say, potentially, um, was it a fantasy type of movie. Ooh, yes. Are animals featured in this person's uh, best known work? Yes, in their best known works. Is the main character an animal? In at least uh, one of their major works, yes. Is it an animal that a actually exists as opposed to a like mythical creature? Yes. Would uh, a typical American school kid have read any of this person's stuff in school? I think it's safe enough to say yes. Hey. Um, I'm confident in you. I mean, guys, you're the Ma breakaway mob surgeon. You just got to get in there with your scalpels and break away everything that's not the answer. <laughs> mob and life. the answer will be that mob thing right in front of you. <laughs> Is the animal a horse? <laughs> There may be a horse in one of this person's works, but that is not the main character the main of the book. Okay, okay. Yeah, I the wouldn't book, so. know this by the horse. No, okay. and it really seems like maybe you either like horses or don't like horses <laughs> today. I can't quite tell. I always suspect there's a horse involved. <laughs> Seven down, three to go. Sarah, what do we got? I don't know if this person is English, but I want to say, is it C.S. Lewis? No, it is not C.S. Lewis. Oh, I, that's a good guess. That is a good guess. There's animals involved. But I would say that uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe series has many, has more than well, uh, one book. Eight down, two to go. Nick. Did the movie star Johnny Depp? It did. I know what it is. Who wrote Alice in Wonderland? Um, uh, Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll. No, it is not oh, Lewis Carroll. What? Nine I down, no one way. to go. It's Shit's well, Creek. I knew it. It's okay, hold up, hold up. I had a, I had a thought Creek. and then it left me. Talk um, amongst, your, talk amongst yourselves for, for a moment. Johnny Depp has done a thousand movies. He also did Willy True. Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Is oh, that shoot. me? Who's the, oh, right, Johnny Depp. I forgot about that. Right, well, there was not two of those, though, was there? Well, the Glass Elevator, you're right. Know. There was two of them. No, there was two of them. The Glass Elevator and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. What other? Is, I don't know who that author is, though. It's Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl. Oh. You are 100% correct, Molly. You said it. <laughs> nice. 
it yes. is Roldo. Guys, right at the it. edge. You were at nine. You were teetering on the brink. Those breakaway mob surgeons were able to successfully complete the operation. I'm really struggling with this metaphor, but yeah. prolific author, Mr. Roald Dahl. Here's what's fun about this website is when you arrive at the website, you choose teacher, kid, grown up. Oh, oh cute. The grown up so, is like all nude review. And it customizes. <laughs> no, it is not. It's just Nick. porn, Roald Dahl porn. <laughs> No, so he's known for uh, Charlie and Chocolate Factory, uh, Matilda, the fantastic Mr. Fox is what I was thinking of in terms of a, oh. a book that mm, had as an animal lead character. Yeah. Uh, James and the Giant Peach also has uh, animal characters mm -hmm. that are lead. The adult characters in Roald Dahl books are so like weird and freaky and like borderline scary, but I, it's yeah. great, yeah. And he's gotten some criticism about like how he shapes uh, various uh, adult <laughs> characters from adult from adults. Yeah, yeah I um, mean, I, I'm gonna throw some criticism. We could use some more horses in the <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah, he was really, unfortunately he's dead. So he's not gonna be writing any more books. He also wow. wrote one of the James Bond movies. Um, what rolled? Look at you! I mean, I guess Fantastic Mr. Fox could be a James Bond movie. It's just like an <laughs> older version, like a Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Yeah, it's like um, an older yeah. James Bond. Absolutely. Fantastic Mr. Silver Fox. <laughs> oh, this is such a good way to end. Oof. We had a collection of Roald Dahl books in our house uh, growing up, and I remember thoroughly enjoying, and then also Molly being freaked out by yeah. James and the Giant Peach, because we had apple trees in our yard. And I was like, oh. could one of those apples grow that big and I could get inside yeah. of it and go on an amazing adventure? <gasps> oh, that's that James Bond movie where a giant peach chases him the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, you know that's Roald Dahl's. It's easy to pick out yeah. his, uh, his Bond movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, so weird. Johnny Depp's in it. Yeah, Johnny Depp's yeah. 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 on. The score today was Internet 2, Breakaway Mauve Surgeons 2. That's our show. A special thanks to all of the websites we mentioned and to the internet for being the wheelchair-bound photographer spying on his neighbors from his apartment window, convinced that one of them has committed murder. Molly, uh, what do you got going on over on Cameo? You've been doing a Elizabeth uh, Warren impersonation in various capacities for years, yes. and now anybody can access your Anybody. It's yours. If you go on Cameo, it's under my name, uh, Molly Erdman. And yeah, I do Elizabeth Warren impressions and I can wish someone <laughs> Happy New Year. I can tell your parents to wear a mask. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a great holiday gift. Yeah. Be, There's you know, no carbon footprint. Uh, Nick, who did you say you, your best impersonation was? Uh, I do impressions of all my friends. So if you have $80 <laughs> and you want to see what my friends are like, please like, subscribe, comment, and Patreon entertainment. You won't regret it. And we we certainly appreciate it. For Molly Urban, Nick Armstrong, and Sarah Atwood, I'm Douglas Ryan. May all of your search results always be optimal. <laughs>